friends, it is Amber here in Alaska, and I decided to kind of do a vlog, I guess, a little bit of one, and just kind of keep you up to date on what is going on. Um, it's been a pretty shitty month. If you're sensitive to language, I apologize. It's not my intention to be. Um, offensive to anybody, but that's exactly what it has been. Uh, things happen in life that we do not intend for them to happen or are beyond our control, um, especially in the category of love and who you choose to love or be with or marry or divorce or not marry or separate, whatever it may be. Um, a lot of it is choice, and a lot of it is dependent upon the other person and what they're willing to give or not give. Um, so about a month ago, me and my husband decided to separate. Um, we've been married for almost five years together for seven, and it has been really difficult for me. What do you do when there is still a ton of love between you two, but the willingness to make someone else happy is not there? Um, how long do you put off trying to make yourself happy or to continue to try and make that person happy if it's not being received? Um, and in my case, it's kind of been years. Um, it was something that I was willing to live. I'm going to be 35. And there are things that I want out of life that originally me and um, my husband before we got married had wanted to. There was so much um, compatibility. And over time, feelings or thoughts or life get in the way and what you once wanted or what you once had in common together isn't wanted anymore. Um, and I just, I feel really lost right now. Like, there are days when I find myself so angry and pissed off and ready to move on and then most other days I am sad and hurt and what feels like barely hanging on. Um, I think what makes it harder is that we're both still living in the house and um, kind of doing that nice thing like oh, if you lay meat out, I'll cook dinner for you, or, um, you know, can you do this for me, or that, or I'm still trying to take care of him, and I can't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Unfortunately, right now, I live in Alaska, and I feel like I'm by myself. My family and my friends and everybody lives 3,000 miles away. So, thank goodness I have work, <laughs> and I've been doing a lot of work, um, like 55 hours overtime the past two weeks. Um, I don't, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in Alaska. My ultimate goal is by the end of the year to go back to California, but there's some things that I'm going to do for myself first. Um, and I've already started the process for a lot of it. I'm just waiting for insurance approval um, and to move forward and go from there. How do you say goodbye to somebody that you still love? He told me that he wants be alone. Um, he wants to check out and live off grid and not want to be married or have to do anything except for what him 
except for taking care of himself. And uh, obviously those statements don't include me. So I think ultimately I'm, I'm just doing this too because I started this web series because I wanted to do unboxing videos and kind of show everybody, hey, we're in Alaska and we should be getting some of the stuff that you guys do too. Um, but due to the unforeseen circumstances of my second failed marriage, I've had to cancel a lot of my subscription boxes, almost all of them actually. I think there are four that I did not cancel. Um, one was Ipsy and one and the other was Birchbox, um, only because I prepaid for the whole year. So I'll still be getting those and I'll still be, um, unboxing them for you. I just can't say no to BoxyCharm yet. <laughs> and I probably should cancel that one. Um, and then I'm I'm doing a panty one, but I haven't been unboxing that one because I'm sorry. I don't think you guys need to see my, my panties that I'm getting in the mail. Um, but I'm going to have to stop that one too. I just, um, I'm sad. I'm sad, and I know that a lot of you guys have asked me to keep doing videos and stuff like that, and I think what's going to end up happening is most of my videos are going to be vlogging. Um, I find that this is kind of just an outlet for me in general to be able to voice feelings or concerns or want to share in general. I'm one of those that I I hold everything in, and I'm a people pleaser. Um, and I'm a caretaker, which kind of backfires, I guess. So, um, I'm going to try and learn to, uh, love myself just a little bit more. And that's kind of what I was doing with these boxings. These boxings was trying to love myself and, uh, do something for myself for a change. And it doesn't always work. And... Sometimes you can fight and fight and fight, but if that other person's not willing to fight with you, uh, you're fighting the battle by yourself when it should be a combined effort. So, he's a good guy. He just doesn't want me anymore. And I, I'm still trying to process and wrap my hand around it. Like I said, I have some good days. Uh, lately, it's kind of been mostly bad days. Um, my family's there, and I don't know, I don't even know why. I don't know why I'm saying all this. I'm just sad. Um, I'm just sad. So if there's anybody out there that is going through the same thing, can offer some words of wisdom, um, that would be helpful. Uh, I know a lot of, I know some of you are probably against divorce and you do whatever you can to stay together and everything else too. And you know, I was initially like that as well, um, especially since this is my second marriage. My first one, I was young and dumb and didn't know better and I wasn't sad about that one, but this one I'm very sad about. And I know... What do you do? Do I, what if he goes off alone and is out there for five or ten years and I'm still here waiting for him? And do I wait five or ten years and have nothing? Or what if that five or ten years never happens and he never comes back? What am I supposed to do? Do I not do anything? Do I just wait and wait and wait for something or for someone that doesn't want me. So I drew up my divorce papers. Um, after we separated, I just did it a few days ago. And once I get them notarized, I will be turning them in. In Alaska, <laughs> the land of not quick things, Apparently, you can get a quick divorce because uh, if it's not contested, 
which ours will be 30 days, 30 to 60 days max to get a freaking divorce. Like, I don't even know what to think about that. In California, it took over six months. If you do everything on a timeline and in order and you don't miss anything, it is six months in one day. It is so easy to get married. And it is hard work to stay married. But to get a divorce, I, I, it, it just blows my mind. 30 days. I'm not changing my name. I'm not, I don't know. A bunch of crap. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Before I completely lose it and uh, have another meltdown, whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, if you're by yourself, whatever it may be, find love. But you don't know how long it's going to last. And I am very thankful for my husband um, and the love that we shared. <sighs> and um, I'll occasionally do videos. Hopefully it won't be as bad as but I can't guarantee that. So, whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, enjoy the day. Find love in yourself, find love with your others. Just don't let anybody tell you you're not worth your love. So I think everybody I think everybody is destined to be loved. Uh to give love, to have love. <sighs> Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it is hard work, a lot of times it's hard work, and it's not easy, um, but if it's with the right person, then it's okay. So, with that being said, still be beautiful, still be you, do whatever makes you happy in this world, and we will talk to you later. Bye guys.